Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sarah. Before we get started though, I'd like to acknowledge the traditional custodians of the lands on which we're gathering today. For me, that's the Yagara and Tarabal people. I would like to pay my respects to Elders past, present and emerging and extend that respect to all Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander peoples. And just a reminder to everyone that sovereignty has never been ceded in Australia. So hi, yes, I am Sarah. I am a plus size fashion and beauty YouTuber. Good and my dog is here with me. Um, if I really appreciate it if you'd subscribe to my channel, like this video, it'd be really appreciative. Um, but I'm just gonna get into it, because we all know my videos are far too long. Um, I'm testing out some new stuff today, actually. I've got a bunch of new makeup. I've got a bunch of new stuff, um, so I thought I'd just pop it on my face. I'm planning on filming another haul video this afternoon, so I'm gonna try and do like a a good makeup look for that. It's my plan. So I'll just go, I'll just pick out the products that I'm going to use, talk about them a little bit and test them out a little bit. Um, I'm going to try and do this quickly and not end up spending the entire time chatting and not getting anything done because that's usually what happens. Um, the first thing I have to try is the NYX Plop It Back Up um, Serum and Primer. Um, I've heard a lot about this and I've wanted to try it for a while and I was at um, Priceline the other day with my friend getting some skincare and I saw this was half price and I was like, okay. I hate it when they put sticky tape around the lid. It drives me nuts. Because they come with sticky tape, like they come with a circle of tape already on them and then Priceline's like, let me just put more sticky tape on here. That's what people need. More friggin' sticky tape. I got all the tape off. So this is meant to be a serum and a primer. Ooh, I'll just put two squirts on my hand. It smells good. It's definitely got fragrance in it. Which is not always a good thing for me. It's alright. Oh, it's nice and sticky. I'm gonna leave it for a couple of minutes just to kind of let it sink in a bit and see let this let the skincare do its bit mm. throw all this sticky tape in the bin I do apologize for my background it's not very nice at the moment I'm in the middle of reorganizing this whole space because we're moving some furniture around we're potentially buying a new house we're trying to maybe sell this one Exciting. Um, so we're just trying to declutter the house and I am clutter central. Um, I have a couple of YSL testers from Mecca that I might try out. I've got Touche El Clat and All Hours in B25 and this one's in B10. I might do the All Hours one because I know how to say it. I don't have a new concealer to try so I might just put my concealers on. First, I've been recently I've been putting my concealer on first before I put on my foundation. So I'm gonna do that. This is just a color corrector. Um, I'm gonna do that and then come back in a sec with the foundation to try out. I am concealed. Don't look at me. Alright, now I'm gonna put some of this foundation on my face. Is the light gonna adjust? I don't know. All right, let's blend this YSL makeup in. Noisy. I'm just looking down at my mirror, which is at a really awkward angle right now. But I think I'm gonna look in my viewfinder instead. Oh no, I think I really like this. Yeah, what was that, Gordon? Someone just yelled outside our house. So he is justified in his barking this time. Normally he barks at nothing, but Look at my skin, folks. Holy dooly. Whenever they apply it in Mecca, it never just, it just never looks that great. Oops, I just took too much on my sponge. <laughs> I'm just trying to blend it down my neck and I went a bit overboard. Oh well, this is only for on camera. <laughs> 
It is so skin-like and beautiful. But it's, I mean, my skin's pretty good at the moment, so I don't know how good it would be for coverage normally, like if someone, if you had spots, but I don't have any right now. I've just looked at my skin close up in my mirror and it looks gorgeous. That is an expensive foundation for me to like. YSL All Hours B25. Oh, like we'll see how it wears, but it's a good color for me. It's not too warm, it's not too cool. It's a little bit light, but that's okay because we can warm me up, which we will anyway, and I'm very pale, but I'm upset by how good this looks. It could be the primer too. It's got electrolytes. Um, contour. Um, I have this duo contour stick from Rimmel that I got on sale. And I have this W7 contour stick. I think I'm going to use this. Let's have a look at the colors and then I'll make a decision. So that's the W7 one. It's quite cool toned, which is nice. It's nice packaging too. I like that. And then this Rimmel one, they put sticky tape on this one too. They will have a highlight stick on the other end, which I don't really care about. Oh, this one's a really nice, like chestnut brown. Oh, I don't know. What do you think? They're pretty similar, hey? This one's a bit darker. This one's lighter. I'm gonna do one on each side. Let's go crazy. Let's live on the wild side. This is the Rimmel one. I really like that color. Ooh. Blend. Can you blend, please? Now let's try the W7 one. Same brush. That's much softer, isn't it? The uh, Rimmel one. But you know what? They're both really nice and they're very similar. They have both have a very similar consistency as well. I think I'm just going to use this one on the rest of my face. I might put a little bit more on. I might just leave it like that, hey? What do you think? It's ending up really streaky on camera, but in real life you can't see that. It's super weird. I'm having to like wipe at it, which is not good because I don't want to take off my beautiful YSL foundation. I'm wondering if maybe I let my foundation dry for too long and I should put setting spray on my face before trying to blend this in because I got distracted looking up the lipstick. Overall, I actually really like them both. This one I got for $5 and this one probably was $5 naturally. So I think this is the definitely the cheaper option overall. Um, but they're good. They've got Highlighter sticks on the end, which I'm just like straight up not interested in. Don't have a liquid blush. I don't have a powder and I don't have a powder contour. So I'm gonna do those things. I've got a powder blush to use and a powder highlighter to use. So I'll get myself up to that point and be back. Before I do all that, actually, I am just going to Get off me. More sticky tape, friends. Um, put some my first layer of setting spray down. It's the NYX Plump Finish Setting Spray with electrolytes. It seems to be like a partner to this one. Um, so I'm going to do this first layer. Oh, that's an intense spray. I'm wet. Ooh, like you could hold that like all the way back and you'd be fine. <sighs> Alright, I'm gonna get a cup of coffee and let this dry and I'll be right. Alright, we are ready for blush. Um, I have this Basic Beauty blush that I got in um, a Bella Box. The shade's called Blushing Bella and it was made for Bella Box customers. So that's kind of cool. It's, it's just a coral pink. I don't know how pigmented it is. And I've just accidentally grabbed a lot. So I might try and share it. 
Oops, it's very pigmented. It looks a bit patchy, doesn't it? Or is that me? Now I haven't put down any um, uh, what do they call it? Liquid blush at all. I just wanted to put this on to see what it looked like. It's quite nice. It doesn't look as good on this side. I don't know why. It's a bit intense, isn't it? <laughs> Note to self: don't pick up much. Doesn't you do not need to pick up much at all. Just gonna tone it down ever so slightly with my beauty blender because it's a little wild. I'm not a huge like big blush girl, you know. It's fine. I like it. And then we've got the Let's Get Lit highlighter set from Astralis, which I think I also got in the same little box this month. Ugh. We've got these two shades. We've got like a goldy pinky shade. And this one's almost like purple. It's like a goldy, it's weird. I don't know. I'm gonna use the, I think this one's gonna be too dark for me. So I'm gonna use the lighter one. I can get it in to pick up on my brush, jeez. This is certainly more of a glow, like a shine, rather than like glitter. Because you know me, I really love a lot of highlighter. So this is very subtle for me. But I don't own many subtle highlighters. I say it's subtle, I've packed on so much that I still look like I'm from space, and that's okay. It's what I'm going for every day. I quite like that. Oh, look at that. Mm. Mm. That's good. I enjoy both these products. Can recommend. You can get them both in the Bella Box this month. I don't know if there's other products on offer. Sometimes there's like a couple of things and you'll get two of them but someone else might get something slightly different. So, brow. I've got two products to try for my brows. I already used the flower pencil, but um, the skinny one, but I got this in a darker color because I am no, I hadn't dyed my roots last time. So then my hair's not as light anymore. So I thought maybe this might do better. I've got it in medium brown instead of um, taupe. And then I got the Maybelline New York Express Brow in the shade Soft Brown. Um, I, I use this in clear and I really like it, but this has got color in it. So I'm hoping I can just use it on its own, like when I'm in a rush. We'll see. I'm not a fan with the brush that comes with the flower pencil, so I'm gonna use just a plain spoolie. I bought like a 50 pack or something of these. Just sit up straight or I get out of film, out of, um, view of this camera. All right, let's see. I want to sleep where it is. Let's see what the color's like. I always do these first ones. Way too dark. <laughs> Oops. Oh well, it's fine. We're not going for perfection here. I have pretty patchy eyebrows, so I need to fill them in with this stuff. Look at that highlight. Yeah, this color certainly suits my hair at the moment. The taupe is just a little bit um, white for me at the moment. This is much better. Oh, I like it. Oh, my mum messaged me. I swear I'm better at doing my eyebrows right-handed, which makes no sense. Someone please explain my ambidextrous to me. Because I don't get it. It's pretty close to even, right? That's pretty close. Not bad, I love this. I already knew I loved the formula of this pencil, but now I know I love the color too. It's nice and cool. The amount of warm eyebrow pencils I've had to use in my time. All right, let's use this. Stuff. It's just a regular spoolie. I 
I think it gives a little bit of colour, but not heaps. But I know the formula does set my brows down enough. Not a whole heap, but I have pretty thin eyebrow hair. If you've got thick, stubborn eyebrow hair, these are not going to be enough for you. But that's okay. <gasps> the amount of product I use on this side, far out. Okay. I've made a huge mistake and I got like a line of it. <laughs> Let's get this clean spoolie and try and fix this mess that I just made. Is that a bit better? Far out. What have I done? Well, this has certainly been an interesting journey. Note to self, don't use too much of this product because it will turn you into Eugene Levy. Easy. Easily turn you into Eugene Levy. A little bit of concealer because I wiped it all away. Blend it back in. Get my clean spoolie again. That looks much better. But now I need to put more of it on this side because now they're a different color. That's better. They're a bit too dark now, but they're even. This stuff is nice, but do not use too much unless you've already got really dark eyebrows. This is soft brown and I've made it medium to dark brown by accident. That's okay. It's fine. It's fine. Let's move on to eyes. I am very excited about this. I, one of the YouTubers I love, which is Soap Does Life, who I'm sure many of you love as well, um, has their own palettes and things with Revolution. So I bought the Super Spy Shadow Palette from Revolution. Oh, before we do that, I bought another eye primer. This one's from W7 as well, it's called I got the power, but I is spelled E Y E. <laughs> Very clever, guys. Very clever. It's meant to be an all day wear eyeshadow primer. It's the color of it. I think it just, well, it comes in the shade natural that I've got. I should probably do this with a brush, but whatever. Done. I wonder if it's the one I got is old because there were some chunky bits in it that I had to scratch off. Interesting. I look like Eugene Levy, I can't. Anyway, this palette, it's a beautiful palette with lots of lovely colors. Soph loves to do a crazy eye. But I'm going to do something kind of chill because I'm filming a haul and I'm gonna be taking clothes on and off over my head and I don't want like blue eyeshadow or something on my clothes. Or do I? I do really love this dark blue shade though. I'm not gonna use it today, but I'm definitely gonna use it. I'm gonna do yellow. <laughs> Nothing too bright, she says. <gasps> There's a lorikeet outside my window. Cute. I'm gonna do yellow because the one of the mascaras I have to try is colored and I think I'm gonna use that one. And I think they'll go nicely together. Um, so brown and yellow will be the the go. So I'm going to do cookie dough, which is this brown up here, and I'm going to do sunshine with this. It's like a um, shimmery yellow. And I think that's it. I'm going to keep it really simple. So fluffy brush, cookie dough, fair bit of pigment. That's nice. This is just going in my crease and on my outer corner. On camera, it looks like this like triangle bit's really dark. But in real life, it's like not there. I don't understand what the camera's picking up right now. Like, <laughs> so strange. Anyway, I'm gonna do the other side, BRB. Okay, that easy brown is done. And now I am going to put the yellow on my lid. Let's see how it goes on with a fluffy brush. I'm stamping it right now. 
not great. It's a bit dim. It's kind of cute though. It's pretty simple. If you put down like a proper base, like a colored base, like a yellow, then this would pop. But just on my eyelid color, it's kind of dull. But that's okay. I kind of look like, I, like I've bruised my eyes. <laughs> I can't decide where I want the camera today. And I think I might just put Mirabal, which is this yellowy shimmer, just in the center of my eyelid. Oh, that's very shimmery. I put way too much on the first eye. It's fine. It's fine. I'm gonna set my face again. Because I forgot to do it after I put the powder products on. A little bit grungy. I like it. Go on He just coughed weirdly. I'm gonna put my highlighter in my inner corner. I used to put um, eyeshadow in my inner corner. Then I started using highlighter because it's what it's for. <laughs> and it's way more intense, usually. Or the right type of intense. I bought lots of eyeliner to try. I bought this new Hyper Sharp liner from Maybelline, but I think I'll save that one. Because I bought the Forever Wear liner from um, Flower Beauty. I don't think I've ever tried a Flower Beauty liner before. It's just look, something a little different. And I needed a brown gel liner. So I'm gonna put brown gel liner on. Oh, it's a twist. I love a twist. I'm just gonna look down into my mirror below me. So please excuse me. Oh, that's an easy application. This is such a creamy liner. This is beautiful. Look at the difference. Like, I didn't want a black liner. Like, I'm not doing a wing today, I don't think. I'm just kind of rounding out the look. And I'm just doing an outer corner bottom liner. Just outer corner. Yeah, that elongates my eyes just enough without doing some cray cray wing, which I'm sure to stuff up. Hopefully the background noise isn't too bad. You might hear some banging. That's Morgan. Um, I have Lily by Red, which is a, that was Gordon, <laughs> um, Korean beauty brand. Um, I have their mascara, or Colora, Colacara, um, in the shade 2, which I'm sure means something. There's also Korean writing there. I don't know, but it is burgundy. So I'm gonna put my burgundy mascara on. I have not curled my lashes. Nothing, these are just going on bare. Hmm, this isn't doing a lot. I mean, it's doing something, but not a lot. And the color isn't very bright, so it does just looks like a brown mascara. really tried to build that up and you can see it a little bit now on camera but it's not a lot but that's okay the more I build it up the spiderier it gets I'm not a huge fan of spiders so I'm gonna stop there I'm gonna do the other side and I'll be right back it's definitely buildable I think it would look a lot better if I curl my lashes first okay last but not least lips Lily by Red again I have the a velvet tint and a mousse tint lip product. In the, the velvet is in five and the mousse is in eight. And I think for this look, eight is gonna be better. The mousse, that's what the packaging looks like. How friggin' cute. If I could hold on to it, fire up. And the velvet one is like a dark, like red color. Similar packaging though. 
This one's a bit lighter. I really like this color. It's a bit more like a dusty pink. It's too far out, isn't it? Isn't it? All right, let's try this. Oh, it smells good. Pinker than I thought it was gonna be. Mmm. Kinda tastes good. And I see them, it's it's called a mousse tint, and I get it. It feels moussey. But it feels really good. I wish it was a little bit more brown, but I really like it. Mmm. That highlight. I love it. I look a little bit less like um Eugene Levy now. I balanced it out with my eyes. <laughs> All right, that's it. Um, I really liked everything, everything. Nothing to be dirty today. This lip is beautiful. I was signing up, I forgot where I was up to and then something happened and anyway, I'm back to finish my sign off. Um, I love everything. The foundation is friggin' amazing and I hate it because it's so expensive. Anyway, I'll put links for all the products I can find in the description box down below, just in case you're interested. If you're in Australia right now, price line is having half price off NYX products, so, or at least some of them, so get, get on it. Um, thanks for watching. If you made it all the way to the end, please like the video if you haven't already. Subscribe if you're not already a um, subscriber to my channel. Um, I'm sorry I've been so inconsistent lately, but I just finished prac and I'm trying to bounce back but I've also got assessment coming so we'll see <laughs> anyway I'm gonna go now I love you all thank you very much bye